Hello, Bird Glamour fans. If there's one duck you're likely familiar with, it's the mallard. With its iridescent green head and bright yellow bill, this is a duck that is very common in suburban parks, ponds, and maybe even your own backyard if you have a body of water. You're looking at the finished product of the Bird Glamour mallard look. I'll take you step by step through how I applied this look and give you some fun mallard facts along the way. So let's get to it. The first thing we notice about the male mallard is its iridescent green head. Now I achieved this look by layering two colors. My base green comes from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and I used Hatter with a small stiff fluffy brush. Mallards are found all over North America. They live year round in most parts of the United States and coastal Canada and coastal Alaska. Mallards return to Canada and parts of the Arctic in the winter to breed. Mallards are short to medium distance migrators and often travel in mixed species flocks. These flocks can travel fast. In central Illinois, the airspeed of some flocks was estimated to be 90 kilometers per hour. The next step is to give that bright green a little bit of shimmery depth. Now I did that by using a small fluffy brush again and I used MAC Cosmetics Humid and I applied that around the outer edge. Humans have had a long history with mallards. Most domestic ducks can trace their ancestry to wild mallards. In Southeast Asia, domestication of ducks dates back more than 2,000 years before present. Domestication of ducks dates back at least to the 12th century in Europe. It's not surprising to see wild mallards mate with domesticated ducks. These matings can result in mallards with funky plumage patterns and colors. Another feature that stands out on the male mallard duck is its very fetching white choker that occurs right at the base of its green neck and separates the green head from its brown body. So I applied this white line using Sephora, the colorful Winket felt liner in bone white and applied a very thin white line all the way from the arch of my eyebrow down to my eyelid. Mallards, or as they're known by their scientific name, which is Anis platyrhynchus, were described and named by Carl Linnaeus in his 1758 Systema Natura. Both male and female mallards have a gorgeous brown body on their wings, their back, and their breast feathers. So to achieve the brown of the mallard, I used MAC Cosmetics Coppering and used a thin angled brush to apply a thick line right on the outer edge of the first white eye line. Mallard was once a term used to describe any wild male duck, or drake, coming from Old French and Old High German words. There are not too many ducks that you can confuse with the mallard, especially the male mallard with its iridescent green head and nice white choker. But the female ducks are more tricky to tell apart, especially if you're comparing a female mallard to a female American black duck. They have a lot of features in common. However, here's a trick to tell the two apart. Both the American black duck and the mallard, male and female, have a bright blue patch on their wings that you can see when they're flying. This bright blue patch is called a speculum. Now with the American black duck, 
that blue patch doesn't have any borders around it. It doesn't have any other colors associated with it. It's just blue against brown. The mallard, on the other hand, in both males and females, has its blue speculum bordered by a white and a black line. So if you see those ducks flash their wings at you, take a look at that blue patch. There's a few steps I did to create that white, black, and blue speculum on the mallard wing. First, I used the Sephora Winket felt tipped liner to draw out my first upper white borderline. Humans have known about mallards for a long time. Mallards have also been around as a species of duck for a long time. Mallard fossils are common duck fossils from the late Pleistocene, or Ice Age, deposits in the whole Arctic region. Whole Arctic is just a fancy way of referring to the northern continents. To add the black edge to the mallard's bright blue speculum, I used another Sephora Winket felt tipped liner. This one is in black. Its official name is Little Black Dress. And I use that to draw the upper and the lower edge of the black border to create the space where the blue is going to go. There's a not so pleasant part of mallard behavior. Mallards don't have the nicest reputation when it comes to mating. Mallard drakes are extremely aggressive during the breeding season. During mating season, it is common to see a female mallard followed by several drakes. There are actually three categories of copulation, which is the fancy way of saying mating, that happen with mallards. There's pair copulation, forced pair copulation, and forced extra pair copulation. The forced part is the part that's not so nice to talk about. You know you're looking at a pair copulation if you see both the male and the female mallard do a ritual head bob motion. Matings that don't have a pre-mating head bob are matings where the males are forcing the females to mate. Female injuries during forced copulations happen on their heads, necks, and backs. I layered three different blue eye shadows to create the blue speculum on the mallard. The face layer is MAC Cosmetics How Royal, and I applied that with a stiff angled brush so that I had a lot of control of where the color was going to go. Mallards are a general omnivorous duck. This means that they'll eat pretty much anything they find in shallow wetlands. During the breeding season, mallards need a lot of high energy food, which they get from larvae, aquatic insects, snails, worms, and freshwater shrimp. Mallards will also eat small vertebrates, like fish and amphibians. To add some iridescence and a slightly purple tone, I used MAC Cosmetics Tilt with the same angled brush and just gently layered that color over the Howl Royal. During the non-breeding season, mallards like their greens, seeds, nuts, and weeds. There are tiny grooves along the inside of a mallard's bill that filter small food particles out of the water. The little dark tip at the end of the mallard's bill acts like tweezers to grab small things like nuts and kernels. After applying tilt over the How Royal, I wanted to give the blue patch a little bit of depth. So I went back to the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette using the same angled brush and added some minks. Mallards are very common on urban ponds, lakes, and parks with wet areas. Since mallards are opportunistic feeders, they are more than happy to receive food from humans. The food that many people associate with duck feeding is, unfortunately, bread. Now it's time to add the finishing touches to the mallard bird glamour. Finishing touch number one, 
took the Sephora Wink It Felt Tip Liner in Bone White and added a thin white line from the bridge of my nose to just below my pupil. I know people mean well, but feeding bread to ducks is just a bad idea. Bread contains very few of the nutrients that ducks need. Ducks end up filling up on bread and don't eat enough nutritious food. Sound familiar? It's like us replacing proper meals with candy corn and potato chips. You're just not going to get all of the nutrients that you need to stay healthy. For finishing touch number two, I took a small, thin angled brush, used MAC Cosmetics coppering, and lined my lower eyelid just up to the corner of my eye. If you want to feed the ducks in your neighborhood park and not make them sick, fear not. The Canal River Trust created a duck-approved list of healthy duck treats. I'll include the link below. Ducks apparently like fresh, frozen, or canned peas, sweet corn, seeds, and lettuce. The last touch for finishing off the Mallard Bird Glamour is the beak color, or in this case, my lip color. To do this, I used MAC Cosmetics lipstick in Luster, and the color is gold. And, well, I just applied lipstick like one does. Now that I blend in with the neighborhood mallards, it's time to go visit some mallard habitat. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bird Glamour featuring the Mallard. If you have a duck that you would like to see glamoured, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe! Bird Glamour is made possible by viewers like you.